How to replace your filters and reset your filter counters in any H2 ionizer. When your ionizer is on, the display indicates the filter counter for each filter. This is filter 1, and the filter on this side is filter 2. When the filter counter for e either filter reaches 999, or after one year of use, whichever comes first, it's time to change your filter. To replace the filter, press the filter lock button located on the base below the filter door. Then gently press upward and remove the filter door. To remove the filter, rotate the filter counterclockwise until it's in the unlocked position. Then lift the filter out. You may have to wiggle it a little because there are a couple of O-rings on the bottom that create a seal on the filter cushion. The new filter will have a seal on the bottom that you'll need to remove first. Once removed, place the filter in the compartment. Make sure that the tabs are lined up with the slots. Press the filter down and turn it clockwise to lock it into position. When locked in position, you should not be able to remove the filter. I have just replaced filter 1. The procedure for replacing filter 2 and for resetting the counter is identical to the procedure for filter 1. Once both filters have been replaced, you will need to flush the filters by turning on the ionizer and running water for one to two minutes until the water runs clear. Then turn the water off so that you can reset the filter counters. Each filter has a reset button in the filter compartment. To reset the filter counter, Press the filter button and hold it for several seconds. You will hear an initial beep, and then when you hear a second beep, it indicates the filter counter has been reset to zero, zero, zero. While you are flushing your filters, be sure to check around each filter to make sure there is no leaking. When you have completed the flushing and reset the filter counters, reinstall the filter doors. Now your filter replacement is complete. Enjoy your water.